Hello everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron where we are ticking on forward here and just vibrating. Like we're just vibing here waiting for the uh <laughs> waiting for the war justification to finish up. It's going to be a bit. It's going to be like 100 days. So, it is what it is. It's a little bit unfortunate that we can only do two. I mean, we could do more, but I don't think it's worthwhile to do more at a time. I I don't think that's value added at this point. Is I guess what I'm trying to say. So, realistically, how many more of these do we need to do? We've got Japan again that we need to fight. So that's one. We're already work working on Manchukuo and Kamshadals. So we've got Codent and Chuck E. Cheese over here. So overall, I think that's it. I don't think there's anyone else. So realistically, we've got like three beyond this. Maybe we should just get them all going right now. 485 days. I mean, that feels like a long time, but that's also two wars away. Granted, one of those wars is going to go incredibly quick. I don't know. It, it gets exponentially longer. I don't think it's worth it. I think we should only run two at a time. I really don't think that will save us time. So we should definitely just continue doing what we're doing, I think. This will be absolutely fine. So we're going to justify next against Codent and Chuck E. Cheese. I, I just, I think that's funny. I don't know. <laughs> we're going to definitely do that. And uh, then after we're done with that, we'll go for Japan again. Hopefully this time we'll be able to actually full annex Japan. We'll see. We'll see if that ends up happening. But Manchukuo is going to fall here fairly soon. Ming Siberia is, I believe, a colony of Ming. Yes, that is correct. Ming Siberia won't be problematic to take care of. It'll it'll take care of, it'll take like an army group to get that done, but we'll be able to take care of Ming Siberia Siberia pretty quick quickly and get down to these other Ming areas. So I'd like to eliminate in in terms of our war against Ming, I'd like to eliminate their outlying areas quickly early on. So this is going to be considered an outlying area. This will be considered an outlying area. This will be an outlying area. This will be an outlying area. This will not, because there is actually a connection to the land there. So that would be fine. We would consider everything over here, with the exception of Taiwan in this box, to be like everything in this box that is part of Ming that is not Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of uh, qualifications there. But that's what we would consider to be like mainland Ming. Okay? And we'd be looking to eliminate this this chunk here, Ming Siberia, their Korean holdings, and their Philippine holdings. That would be the goal. Cool. So Manchukuo is going to be falling here quite soon. Yes, we've got three days left on this justification. So, let's make sure that these guys are going, and indeed they are. Beautiful. And our justification has finished, so we are simply going to declare on them. Consider it done. And in we go. Japan joined. Now, that's fascinating. On the one hand, I'm not surprised by this. Because they are in the faction, and we did just make them angry. On the other hand, Manchukuo didn't join when we declared on Japan. But that does mean that we should immediately call to arms these guys. And then this army should get an offensive line of, once again, simply pushing to Kyoto. Something like that. The Home Island's offensive operation. Let's go. So we're going to push on in there. And we are, of course, working on taking all of this. So these guys, they're not moving in right now. Let's just head on in. Cool. I want to make sure that these guys are aggressively attacking. Like, get in there. <laughs> There's no point in just chilling. Just get in there. Beautiful. At this point, we can just attack these guys. They're cut off. 
So Manchukuo is going to fall. That's not going to be a particularly challenging thing. Now, Armenia and Japan is attacking from here. We're attacking from here. And we're expecting Kyoto to fall very soon, so Japan will capitulate. One thing we should do is we should justify on someone else. And that is going to be on Koden here. So we're going to justify on them. Now the question is, are we going to have to naval invade here? And I suspect the answer to that to be yes. But this does save us time because we may not have to fight Japan. So Japan has capitulated. Beautiful. And we're heading on in. Wonderful. Non-aggression pact from Ryukyu. Oh yeah, Ryukyu exists. We didn't count them. <laughs> we definitely should. Okay, so we're going to go after Ryukyu later on. Not right now. For now, we of course need to get Manchukuo to crumble. Our movements here are... slow. But functional. Slow but functional is what we'll go with. Cool. So this is all controlled by Armenia and Japan, right? That's fine. We don't care about that. They can do that all they want. We can get these two infantry divisions over here into Armenian Theater 2. Fantastic. And at this point, we're just going to continue slowly grinding our way through Manchukuo. We don't expect this to be a problem. What is boosting the world tension right now? It's just ticking up from apparently our actions. Interesting. I'm not sure what's consistently generating this. Just us invading over here, maybe? Or justification. So, we finished up our justification on Codent already. Okay, I did not expect that to go that quickly. Noted. So, we are going to launch a naval invasion from here to here. And we'll get these guys started on planning that. And then we're going to need to pull an army up over this way, or at least a unit. And it's going to be this guy. We're going to just move him up over here. I don't believe that Coden actually has any troops. So he's just going to do something like this. Cool. And we're going to wait here until our war goal is about to expire, which is going to be on 1 March. So we'll just let some of this time pass. And we should probably work on... Uh, we'll work on Chukchi next. Chukchi? Probably Chukchi. That's only 35 days. Okay. We're not going to do that right now. That's because the world tension is high enough. So it's very fast now to justify. I like it. For the moment, we're just going to continue pushing into Manchukuo. Beautiful. So it's currently 11 January. We've got plenty of time on this Wargle. So this infantry division is going to move out over here. No problem. And we're still on our way over here. That'll take some time. How is our naval invasion planning going? So these guys are... Are they done? No, 21 out of 84 days. And we are, of course, going to need to get some control of this seat. So we'll go ahead and do that. Beautiful. And they can execute their plans when they're ready. Cool. So Manchukuo is going to be falling here quite soon, right? There's no doubt about that. And this is on 1 March that this is going to happen. Okay. So we're just going to give it some time for our naval invasion to prepare. I definitely was not expecting that to be that quickly. But we can actually lower the Armenian East Indies in terms of their... Uh... Ooh, we can make them be annexed. Done. So we just annexed the Armenian East Indies. So that's not this over here. Uh, the East Indies is this stuff. Cool. So this is now all controlled by us. Let's take a quick look at our constructions out over here. Yep, we're going to need some. So we're going to queue up all of this infrastructure over here. There we go. Cool. This is Armenian Australia here. This is Armenian Philippines. So we don't need to worry about that, but we do need to worry over here. And we can get rid of these. Cool. 
So naval dockyards are not really what we're looking for here. We're looking for naval bases. So we get those queued on up. There we go. Cool. We get this and that. Probably a few more out over here. Yes, that is indeed accurate. And is this within our territory? Maximum level increased already, so yes. And we can hop down over here as well. There we go. Beautiful. Next up, we're going to build our air bases out over here. We may as well build over here as well, I suppose. And we'll just get those queued on up. Beautiful. And then our radar stations. Cool. And of course, after this, our anti -air. Which, this is already queued in some locations. We've actually already queued up this stuff over here, so that seems absolutely fine. Absolutely fine indeed. Okay, so we're continuing to push into Manchukuo here, and it is currently 31 January. So what are we waiting on right now? Well, we're pretty much just waiting on this invasion prep. Now, I'm not convinced that they're not going to capitulate when we walk into Markovo. They might. They might just capitulate there. We'll see. But we're not in position there yet either. So we'll give that a little bit of time. And we're going to position just right here. We'll arrive there when? In 16 days. Boy. <laughs> That's cutting it close, actually. That's cutting it real close. So our justification for conquering Kamshadals is now finished. So we should declare on them. There we go. And at this point, we should see our Marines just immediately head out. They joined the Central Powers. No surprise on that one. Okay. So next up, we are looking to declare over here. Are these guys not going? Ah, our Navy isn't actually up here right now. So let's make sure that they're heading up here. There we go. And now our Marines should depart. Insufficient. Oh, we need the North Emperor chain too. Right, we cross into this season. That makes sense. So we're going to pull these guys. They're no longer needed over here. So we're going to have them come patrol over here. Beautiful. So it's 23 February right now. 25, 26, 27, 28. Okay. We cannot wait any longer. We have to declare now. So we're going to go ahead and declare. And in we go. Now they join the Central Powers. That's fine. No concerns there. And we are going to, of course, navally invade over here eventually in 24 days. But we'll see if making our way over here in 12 days causes them to capitulate. May or may not. We expect Cam Shadals to capitulate very, very quickly here. And we're still working on grinding our way through Manchukuo. Nothing too major going on over here. Although we probably have some pretty major supply issues at this point. And yes, that is very, very true. So we should start thinking about building another round. And I'm going to have this be like top priority. Another round of supply hubs out over this direction. Something kind of like that. It's slightly awkward here, but it's okay. And then railroads to connect those up. We're definitely having some supply issues on this front. So something kind of along the lines of that. And then this can connect in over here. We can have this come down like that. This can connect over here. Cool. And something like that. Okay. That'll be fine. Hello, pause menu. So we have some supplies causing us issues with Manchukuo, but that's fine. We'll get those queued up eventually, or rather finished eventually. Did I queue those at the bottom? I queued those at the bottom. Okay, <laughs> let's bump that up to top priority. Beautiful. And there's some stuff down here that really probably... No, this is, this is fine, I think, being at bottom priority. I'm not concerned about that. Yeah, that's okay. So we'll let that tick on forward. 
and Camp Shadals has capitulated. We are not surprised about that one. And we'll arrive here in about one day. We'll see if Coden capitulates. They did. Beautiful. So we don't need these guys here anymore. They can forget about this particular order. Okay. So, next up, I'm going to send this army... Hello, Consul. I'm going to get back to our proper view and send this army here over to here. So they'll get into, into position for that. And this guy can move back into our reserves. There we go. And this army's goal is, of course, going to be an offensive line to the sea. And we're not expecting this to be, like, have any resistance whatsoever. We'll just get into position up there. I'm wondering... Yeah, we do have some transport up there. I'm surprised it took that long to move that infantry unit around then. Okay. Well, that's fine. So we'll we'll work our way over there. And how long on this justification? Ten days? Yeah, we're going to need to wait on that. <laughs> so that's fine. We'll tick on forward here. And I'm going to have this guy move back to balanced attack. Our supplies over here are very slim. There's no doubt about that. So we're just going to dig in a bit and position for defending this for about three months here. Yeah, about three months. Looks good. We'll get those railroads all set up, and that's no big deal. Fantastic. This division can move into our reserves. And once we're in position up here, we or close to being in position, we can prepare for that justification. We can also get these guys planning a naval invasion of Ryukyu. So that would be from here to Okinawa. There we go. So that'll be our Marines heading on over there. Fantastic. And we should definitely move our navies back at this point. We don't really need any navy control over here. So we should have these guys controlling the South China Sea and the East China Sea. And forget about the North Emperor chain. And then our other guys should be in the Sea of Japan and maybe the Yellow Sea. I kind of hate that, actually. Uh, how do we want this split up here? We leave it as it is. They can have control of the Yellow Sea. Okay. They're going to be trapped in here, and that should be fine. Beautiful. Okay, how are those constructions going? Uh, we've got a ways to go. 112 days on that. Okay, so that's a little longer than I thought it was going to be. But that's fine. I'm not too concerned about that. It's not like we expect them to be able to push us back or anything. That would be insane. So, yeah, that's not going to happen. Are we in position up over here yet? Uh, we're working on it. We're certainly working on it. We should probably begin our justification here. So we'll go ahead and get that started. That'll take 10 days. There we go. And over we head. Okay, so we're getting into position here and our justification is now done. That's fine. We'll go ahead and declare this. They will join the Central Powers faction, of course. We don't care. So we're just going to immediately move on in. That war is over, to be honest. It's it's done. I doubt that we're going to have to do anything here before they capitulate. So that'll be fine. As far as this front down here goes, I want to check in. It does look like we've gained some ground here. So I'm going to toss in a pair of additional supply hubs over here, and we will bring in some railroads for those. Something kind of like this. We're going to need another supply hub down here, and now I think is maybe not necessarily the time for it, but we can get started on it, I suppose. Something kind of like that. It's not amazing. I would also like another hub, like, here. Now that I think about it, because we're going to be fighting Ming over here, right? So that's something that we're going to need to plan for. So let's get that underway there. All of this construction is happening simultaneously, so we're not surprised about that. And we actually apparently do need to naval invade this, which is wild to me. 
That is wild. So we'll start up a naval invasion. Something like that. Never mind. They capitulated. <laughs> okay, cool. So that's fine. We can get these assigned over to our reserves. There we go. And how is our push over here going? Well, slowly is the answer. It's definitely going slowly. And we need to get a lot more of this finished up. Manchukuo is definitely taking a little bit longer to go after than I had hoped. But how's our naval invasion going here? It is prepared. So in that case, we could definitely go after Ryukyu here. We can justify on them. That'll only take 10 days. Beautiful. I'm just thinking about how our armies are going to be set up here for our attack on Ming. It's going to be a little awkward with our three army group set up. Our justification of conquering Ryukyu has finished. Can we actually declare on them? We can, surprisingly. Consider it done. So we should immediately embark here. And indeed we do. And off we go. So Ryukyu will be under our control. Yeah, we're going to have to take out this. Ryukyu has capitulated. We're shocked. Utterly shocked. So we're going to pass here. Hmm. We've received all of our score. We can't puppet Ryukyu. We can't change their government. We can't change we can't take their states. Awkward. So, it's a white piece. Okay. Uh, we're going to prepare to redo this. And we're just going to wait until after the existing war is over. There we go. Cool. So, we are finishing up our constructions up over this way. And once we get that done, well, honestly, we should still be able to push in over here. Let's go back to aggressive attack. We have some major supply hurdles over this way. There's no doubt about that. But we're working on it. And it is improving. Slowly. It is slowly improving. So we're going to continue to push in there and finish up our supply depots. We can't really go after Ryukyu until this existing war is over. And Ryukyu... Actually, Japan still exists. I just noticed that. Japan still exists. We should start a naval invasion plan. Uh, I'm blanking it. There we go. Naval invasion plan. And go land in Busan. Execute that as soon as you're ready. 33 days. Cool. So we're going to prepare for that invasion. And do that next. There are some Japanese troops in Busan. Or actually they're in this naval base. But that's fine. We can hit Busan here and take out the rest of Japan. That'll be no problem. And then as far as Manchukuo goes, we're mostly just waiting on constructing this backline infrastructure here. So that'll be fine. 9 July? Yeah, very little time left on that. So that's all looking good. All looking good there. We're over halfway done preparing our invasion over here. This is controlled by, awkwardly, Japan. <laughs> that is very awkward. Okay. Very awkward indeed. We should definitely at some point work on our infrastructure out over this way. Although it looks like that's already maxed out over here. Anti-air we could definitely work on. As well as radar stations. Up over this way. And... Camp Shadal's controls this. Noted. These guys are going to prepare a naval invasion from here to here. Cool. And they can go ahead and execute that whenever they're ready. 
There we go. But with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to wrap up the non-Ming section of this war for sure. And we'll see about starting the actual Ming section. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, James, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Unisol, Kadra, Rogue Corbett, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.